Coronavirus infections. Coronaviruses are common viruses that most people get some time in their life. They are common throughout the world, and they can infect people and animals. Several different coronaviruses can infect people and make them sick. They usually cause mild to moderate upper respiratory illness. But, some coronaviruses can cause severe illness. Coronavirus is probably spread through the air by coughing or sneezing, or by close personal contact. If you get infected, symptoms may include runny nose, cough, sore throat, and fever. You may be able to reduce your risk of infection by washing your hands often with soap and water, not touching your eyes, nose, or mouth, and avoiding close contact with people who are sick. There is no vaccine to prevent coronavirus infection. There are no specific treatments. You can relieve symptoms with pain and fever medicines and rest. The 10th global case of In China to around 4,500, Chinese officials added that 60 people have been cured and discharged. Now Beijing and Shanghai, two of China's biggest cities, could not dodge the bullet, with both cities reporting their first deaths from the virus. A 50-year-old man died of respiratory failure in Beijing on Monday. Health officials said he was diagnosed with the new coronavirus last week after staying in Wuhan from January 8th to 15th. Authorities in Sh Shanghai have not released the details of the dead victim. The virus is popping up across the world. So far, there have been at least 62 confirmed cases in 17 places outside of mainland China. But the good news is that there have been no deaths reported from the new coronavirus in other countries. Hong Kong has been hit hardest with eight confirmed cases. The Hong Kong government is waiving medical treatment fees for all patients suspected of the new coronavirus. Japan has found four confirmed cases of the virus. Tokyo is actually sending a charter plane to Wuhan later tonight to repatriate its citizens stuck in the city. Now, some 650 Japanese citizens have requested to return to their homeland. The virus has also spread to North America with at least five confirmed cases reported in the United States. The U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention has raised its travel precautions for China to the highest of its three levels, warning. Europe is also preparing for tougher prevention measures. Late on Monday, Germany confirmed its first case. Health officials there said the male patient lives in a town some 30 kilometers southwest of Munich. The patient is reportedly stable, but the authorities did not elaborate on how he may have been infected. Germany is the second country to have confirmed virus in Europe, following France, which has confirmed at least three cases so far. That's all I have for now, but I'll be back with the latest in our later newscast.